So it's gonna have three pockets inside. It's, it's the one where it's a zip on the top and then it goes like triangle shape. So let's see how I get on. So I've looked at my pattern. It requires 30 wide and 20 centimeters height wise in order to get the size that I'm after. Now, honestly, I don't think it needs to be exact science or measurement. So I'm just taking a square going up. Let's see what the 20 centimeters fins. Go for that. We need some fabric for our um, pockets. I think what's good to do is, is put the interfacing now on. So I'm gonna cut 20 centimeters of end interfacing because that's the height of it. So interfacing will go to the outer fabric. In order to do interfacing, I'm gonna put my fabric down first. Interfacing on the top. I'm gonna to just slightly iron it. Always try and have the interfacing a bit smaller than the actual fabric so that you can easily iron over it. And you just pull it off. Don't put iron on top of it any after that. So the what the interfacing does it is obviously making the fabric more structural. So what I now need to do is cut out 3.5 centimeter corners. Do the other. This one creates the triangle shape. Right. So this is my um, body of the bag. The zip goes up here. That's going to create the triangles. I just need to get, now cut out um, the inside. I wonder if you could do like double-sided <laughs> bag. I don't, it's not challenge myself today. Anybody else's mind just goes like. 100 miles per hour when you start doing something new. It's like, what else can I do? Next, we need to think about uh, pockets. So um, pockets will be one big pocket on this side. So I've chosen my fabrics now for the pockets. I'm gonna use the uh, flamingo fabric for the big pocket. And I found some scraps and squares of these ones. I think first step is pockets on. Let's make sure I put them in the right side. So we need to first of all apply this. So we need to make sure that there is a seam allowance left in there. Let me get sewing machine out and sew the edges. So welcome to my world of rushing things and of thinking things through. So my first pocket, <laughs> put it on the inside. Perfect. <laughs> Good old seam repairs. Here we can. Everything else is fine so far. So this is big pocket. Right, now I'm happy. They're straight. Looking good. Ready for sewing now. I think once I get the pockets on, um, it should be easier. <laughs> Ta -da! Oh, so cute. So the first step is to um, touch the zip. What I do usually is just visualize, put it on. Does it make sense how it looks? So that needs to go this way. That probably goes that way. And then when we turn out around, it's gonna be right. So I've got my first one. So therefore I'm leaving zip a little bit higher than my rest of the fabric. And if you look now, once you turn it around, the zip is on the right way, this is outer, that's inner, and everything should work. So let's sew that on. So I'm lining the foot just next to the zip. So roughly in the midway, I'm gonna slide the zip to the other side. So how close did I get? I'm quite happy with that. That's how close it is. So um, right side facing on the, on the outer layer and the right side facing on the inside layer as well. So lining up as close as possible and then just sewing. Secure stitching. 
And here it is. Outer layers facing each other and insides facing each other with the lovely pockets. And the zip sliding nicely there. Checking the pockets the right way. <laughs> I'm sure they are. Next step is whatever you're going to do, you, you do. But once you're happy with the um, kind of design of your bag, you line up the front sides. So when you're sewing, you, you sew the whole sides seam you sew the bottom of the outside layer but you leave the squares unsewn and you leave little gap lining the fabric so that you can turn the whole thing around just think how much you need a couple of inches three inches maybe so you're literally sewing up to the zip So the next step now is sewing the corners together. So just line up the corners. When sewing these corners, I would be quite generous where I'm sewing, so that would create your width of your bag. So in theory, apart from filling this in, uh, it should be ready. And let's turn it around. Open your zip. Make sure you're happy with all everything before you close it up. And you turn it inside out. Check the corners, push them out. Make sure the bag fits in. Closes. So before we go any further, my daughter didn't like the colour of the pink pockets that we had. So she chose different ones, which actually I agree. I had to unpick some of the bottom and a little bit of the inner layer and uh, refit the pockets, re sew the, what I un picked and then last step is just uh, closing up the, the bottom it's done the zigzag stitch just to make sure it stays together so this is uh, what I've I've done since um, I didn't film it but yeah now next thing is just push it all inside the bag give it a little iron so that the interfacing from the from the outline uh, attaches to the inside so it should be then like solid unit after that so so that's what I'm going to do now.